Hi guys, in this video I'll talk about equilibrium of forces and especially translational equilibrium only. Okay, that is just because of uh, balancing of forces, not of torque. Okay, so equilibrium of forces, translational cases only. So, uh, force must be, must form if an object is in equilibrium, the forces acting on it must form a closed polygon in an order. Okay, like this 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 or i can draw one more let's say this 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 and this again in an order these forces will give you a zero resultant if they form a closed polygon the summation of x component of forces will be equal to summation of y component of forces and summation of z component of forces will all give you zero only then uh, the net force will be zero and the object will be in equilibrium again for three forces we can form a triangle and use sine rule lamy's theorem or triangle law they are all same what they say is let's say these are the forces acting on a particle again these are forces acting on a particle like this but we can form a closed triangle in an order like this and if the opposite angles are named as f1 opposite angle is theta 1 the angle opposite to 2 is theta 2 and that of 3 is theta 3 so we can use this expression f1 by sin theta 1 f2 by sin theta 2 f3 by sin theta 3 all are equal okay this is a very important and um, uh, we can say crucial expression to solve very uh, difficult problems easily with least amount of calculations okay so these forces can act like this also again f1 opposite angle is theta 1 and so on so let's start with the first example let's say this is a block is a at equilibrium under the action of three forces i should apply these three forces this is mg this is t1 and this is t2 so on solving this or we can form a triangle in an order okay we can form a, always form a triangle in an order and this this is t2 and this is t1 and this is mg if you closely watch that angle made by t2 with vertical is theta so from this triangle i can use sine theta tan theta let's say tan theta is t1 by mg what about sin theta sin theta is t1 by t2 and cos theta so on i can form a triangle and find the forces by using simply sin 10 cos and this again the forces acting on this is mg and let's say this force is uh, t dash so t dash is nothing but mg because the only two forces are acting they must be equal and opposite coming on to this point let's say this is point 1 this is point 2 so fbd of point 2 says this is force f2 this is force t, t dash which is equal to mg and there is another force let's say t2 so they must form a triangle and forming a triangle i can say this force is vertical this is this and this is like this t2 this force is f2 and this is mg and this angle is given as 45 so we can say f2 is nothing but mg using 10 theta as 1 and t2 is nothing but mg into root 2 okay so t2 comes out to be now draw the fbd of point 1 point 1 experiences three forces let's say the upward force is t1 this is f1 and this is t2 again we can form a closed triangle like this try to draw it this 
then upward force and uh, this and this these are the three forces again angle is 45 this is t1 this is f1 and this is t2 so f1 is nothing but t1 which is equal to t2 by root 2 so t2 is mg root 2 so this is equal to mg we can easily find f1 and f2 we got f1 as mg okay and f2 is equal to mg both the forces are equal to mg okay so in the next example there is a person uh, standing on a plank and balancing the whole system by applying some force force applied by the man is nothing but tension because man apply force on rope and rope apply the same force on man according to newton's third law so those two forces must be equal and opposite and the force applied by string is called tension so they will apply tension on each other so let's draw the fbd of the man first man is experiencing a tension on man by string its weight let's say m2g and the normal reaction from the plank okay under these three forces it is at equilibrium so we can say t plus n balances m2g net upward force balances net downward force or t plus n minus mg is equal to zero they are both same things what about this the plank the plank experiences a force or a tension 2t because this is t and this is t so this must be 2t on the plank and it will experience another force from the man's feet which is normal and another which is weight of its own so under these three forces it will be at equilibrium so the next force or the next equation is 2t plus n is nothing but m1g so by subtracting these i can easily get minus 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 t is equal to m1 minus m2g okay so this is the amount of force the person will have to apply to keep the whole system at equilibrium oh sorry i made a slight mistake in this equation this should be 2t uh, minus n as n is downward is equal to m1g so we should not cancel we should add them so 3t is equal to m1 plus m2g and t is m1 plus m2 by 3g by 3 into g so this is the force applied by man on the string or force applied by man to hold the whole system at equilibrium what is the force we should apply on this to keep it horizontally at rest again the force is acting on it is normal and its weight mg so again draw a triangle like this this is normal reaction this is the horizontal force you want to calculate this is weight and this is angle theta you must know again this is perpendicular to incline this is perpendicular to horizontal so the angle between horizontal and incline will be transferred here so normal and vertical will have angle theta so by using simply tan theta as f by mg i can say f is nothing but mg tan theta and i can also find n in terms of ng for example n is mg by cos theta in this case okay generally n is equal to mg cos theta but in this case n is 
mg by cos theta in the next example and the last one the forces by spring this will have two forces one is m1g and another is k1x1 so those two must balance so k1x1 is equal to m1g what about two block two will experience a force in downward direction k1x1 plus its own weight m2g and a spring force from upper part which is k2x2 as it is in equilibrium we can say net upward forces balances net downward forces okay from these two equation we can solve everything which is required